again, everybody. David Wallage, New View Safety Coach. Um, welcome back. Um, again, this morning, in the coffee, in, in the cafe, I was sat down over my coffee thinking, what am I going to um, do a post on today? What am I going to do a video on today from my previous posts? And <clears throat> I came to the realization that I'm thinking about this because I'd set myself a goal. Currently, I, um, I resigned from my job um, six weeks ago, for five and a half weeks ago. So four weeks um, notice period, a week and a half. This is um, almost the middle, middle of the second week that I haven't been um, working full time. I still have my own business, of course, and um, you know there are lots of opportunities and people I'm talking to, but um, I'm not in, in a traditional sense employed. Um, and I knew that at the beginning of this period, it would feel very um, unusual for me, um, feel very different, you know, we're animals of routine and habit and you know we it's good for us to have set times to get up in the morning to arrive at an office to go for lunch you know to, to have our lives routinized to a to a degree is is um stabilizing and um imperative to a degree for our stability um as humans going through life especially when there's lots of other turmoil going on around us so I knew this period was going to be strange, um, and I was prepared for that as much as I could be. Now, in order to get through this awkward period, and also as well for lots of other benefits and reasons, I decided to set myself a goal of um, releasing at least a video every other day, a YouTube video every other day, and to spend a lot, as much time as I can on BD development, you know, BD um, business development for my business while I've got this time. Um, it's also, as you may know, the start of um, my, my, my new university degree. Um, so it gives me a little bit more time to focus on that as well. There are other goals that I have, but that's, that's an important one. And I thought that might be a good topic. Um, I know I've got a post on goals, how, why it's important to have them, the, the benefits of having them, um, and the outcomes that you can achieve both professionally and personally, through having goals. So I thought, let's do that. Let's let's have a look at the posts that I'd um, put up about goals, um, see what I wrote, and try and talk through a little bit more about um, why. Why I think they're important, especially to me. Um, um, yeah, and hopefully shed some light on on the importance of goals, like I said. So, um, in the spirit of improvement, constant improvement as well, I, um, I, I got some feedback from number six, um, from my chief complaints officer. Um, that's, that's not fair. I ask for his critical opinion and review, and he very graciously and kindly provides it, Mr. Bruce Brody. Um, and um, uh, these videos wouldn't be what they are um, without his feedback. So, some of his feedback from the last video was, because I'm in the center of the video and the text comes in the center, um, light shirt with white writing, sometimes it's hard to see and this can be distracting. So he said, why don't you offset yourself from the center and see if you can get the text more in the free space. Um, I'm not sure how that's going to work because I've, from memory, there's quite limited, I've got quite limited capability for moving the text or um, for even formatting the text in the, uh, that I can find anyway, in the, um, in the application that I use for production, post-production. Um, but anyway, we'll give it a whirl and uh, it's going to be a bit strange for me. I've never set off center from camera, um, but let's give it a whirl, see what it looks like. And if it's no good, we'll go back to the way it was. Um, that's going to be really awkward. I should just move the camera. 
All right. If I turn more towards the camera, we've got some free space over here. Let's see what that looks like. So in the usual spirit of these um, blog post reviews, I'm going to um, be reading some of it, commenting, adding interjection, my own um, thoughts and opinions as to why I wrote it and some um, where I could have elaborated on the post. Um, yeah, so let's start from there. So the title of the blog post is The Power of Goals, Unveiling Success Through Sir John Whitmore's Coaching Model. A dream written down with a date becomes a goal. A goal broken down into steps becomes a plan. A plan backed by actions becomes reality. Greg Reed. That's um, an opening quote that's in the, in, in the blog post. I particularly like that quote. I think I've got it on my website as well somewhere. In the labyrinth of life, goals serve as guiding stars, illuminating our path and propelling us towards purpose. They are beacons of motivation, driving us to achieve, grow and evolve. Embracing goals isn't merely a choice. It's a vital component in the pursuits of personal and professional fulfillment. I didn't mention this in the blog, but this reminds me of um, a quote. Mm, a quote. I was watching a Jordan Peterson podcast, YouTube video um, about motivation and about what, um, about happiness as well, about um, purpose and meaning in life. And um, it reminded me that uh, of something he said once, which was consumatory and um, reward benefits the highs, the happiness, the the joy we get from buying things or consuming things, you know, from objects that we purchase through things we can easily acquire, um, is fleeting. It's it's it's, it's ephemeral. It does. It really doesn't last very long. The greater benefit we can get, the longer. Um, uh, and motivation and purpose and happiness, I suppose you can call it, we get is through is actually through pursuing goals, through aiming for something in the future that's of benefit to either ourselves, um, the people around us, or the organisation as a whole. Hopefully, for all three, um, is far greater. Every time you get that little bit closer towards the attainment of that goal, you get that little hit of dopamine, which keeps you going forward, which keeps you motivated, and it becomes it becomes it becomes a purpose in your life. It be, as Simon, you know, Simon Sinek says, you know, finding your why, finding the why for the organization, also is applicable to finding the why for the human as well. It's not just about it's, it, it's not purely how organizations need to market their products. It's, it, it's also applicable to how humans um, operate as well. You know, having that why, having that purpose, having that vision for the future. Um, so that's why it's important to, to have goals. And that, um, if I was to write that post again, I might include something on those lines as well. Next line from, not the next line, but another line I picked out the essence of goals. Goals serve as a roadmap, providing direction and clarity amid life's complexities. So this is interesting, this line. Um, it reminds me very much of a, um, a gentleman called Simon Weston. I learned about him in my um, postgrad at Charles Sturt Uni. Um, he is an, an English professor. Um, started out from pretty humble background um, and worked himself up. He's also a coach, a leadership coach, and a leadership expert to around the world. The textbooks that he wrote was used as the textbook of choice for the leadership course that I was taking at Charles Sturt. And he has a section in there where he talks about, in order for leaders or anybody really, 
to improve, to change, to adapt, you must first know where you are. He calls it locating yourself. And I really liked this when I first heard about it. Um, because it reminded me of trying to get somewhere, I suppose, geographically. And you can look at a map and you can go, oh, I need to get to point D, uh, whatever it's called, uh, uh, wherever it is. I need to get to point D because um, that's important to me. But even with traveling somewhere geographically, physically, you need to know where you are first. Because you've got this big map and you know you want to get to a certain point. But unless you know where you are in relation to that point, you have no hope of getting there. You could be anywhere. You need to locate yourself on the map so that you can navigate to where you need to get to. And that that's the metaphor which I... I created in my mind when I thought about what Simon Weston was talking about, locating self as a leader. Um, you want to improve your um, communication capabilities as a leader. Well, that's great. There are lots of ways of doing that. But where are you currently? Uh, what are your strengths? Uh, well, um, and what are your weaknesses? Where are your opportunities for improvement? What can you do? And what are you prepared to do? All of these are important questions that help locate where you are and what the end goal is going to look like and how you're going to get there. So in this, in this one sentence, goals serve as a roadmap providing direction and clarity. I think that's what I was trying to get at. I was trying to get at this. If you want to get somewhere, first of all, you have to know where you are. Because unless you know where you are, you've got very little hope. Um, of getting there. What is that saying? Um, uh, oh, it's about being in a boat and um, having no, if you have no destination, then any port is, um, I can't remember exactly. I'll have to come back on that one. I'm not very good at remembering quotes, as you can probably tell. Um, a lot more of this post goes on to talk about John Whitmore, uh, Sir John Whitmore, uh, who's credited with developing the GROW model, G-R-O-W. It's an acronym. Goals, reality, options, and will. Um, so there's quite a bit of talk about that in the post as well, and I realized while rereading the post to talk to you about it, I've not, although I've talked about organizational coaching, that's, and safety, but organizational coaching predominantly, I've not touched on this key methodological approach to organizational coaching, the GROW model. Um, uh, there are several models out there. The GROW model is definitely a very popular one. Solutions focused is also another one. Um, cognitive behavioral approaches is also another one. Um, there are three very strong um, models, uh, formats and approaches, um, and I've not yet covered any of them, so I will have to do that in a, another post very soon if I'm going to keep on talking about grow model, which I'm going to have to. So next line, um, motivation and focus. Goals act as catalysts for motivation, igniting the fire within to strive for excellence. And this serves to reinforce everything I've already really mentioned, which is having that purpose having that having that um desire and that that passion to push ourselves to grow that little bit more than where we currently are um that thing in the future which you're aiming for the reason you get out of bed in the morning the reason you dedicate the reason you sacrifice instant pleasure and gratification for the long term is because of that goal is because of that purpose and that reason and so powerful to have that it's so powerful i um five six years ago i set myself a goal 
uh, changing career, changing life, um, changing life circumstances, um, quite a lot of things. And I set myself a goal of having um, three postgraduate degrees um, within five years, um, a certain amount of uh, experience, professional experience in a certain in industry. Um, uh, I set myself a few goals, um, and they, you know, it certainly wasn't easy. Um, certainly days, weeks, even months where um, I didn't think I was going to achieve it. It was too hard. It was too difficult. And kept on plodding on, kept on plodding on. I'm not the topic of this post, but I'm just trying to say, well, actually, I can't say it any better than Nietzsche. I believe he's Nietzsche. Which had a, he had a quote saying, he who has a why can bear almost any how. He who has a why can bear almost any how. Um, and I know it, it genderizes it by saying he. If, if we can get past that, a person who has a why can, excuse me, can bear almost any how. I think that summarizes that very nicely. The blog goes further on to explain how the GROW model helps break down and explore complex lives into, ac complex lives into actionable goals. Um, again, this is touching more on the GROW model. Um, so I'm definitely going to need to uh, do that in another post. Um, and I maybe even link that video to this after I've done it. I'll have to see how that works. Um, what else? Next line in the post. Moreover, goals stimulate growth. They push us beyond our comfort zones, encouraging continuous learning and development. Like I said before, you know, we are we can be creatures of comfort. And unless, what is it? The the queen in Alice in Wonderland. Um, you always have to be running um, in order to stay in the same place. Uh, unless we're pushing ourselves forward, and aiming for the next thing then we're not improving. That's my opinion anyway. And I'm... Next line, the holistic impact. The significance of goals transcends mere achievement. They sculpt our identities, shaping our perceptions of self and instilling a sense of fulfillment, whether big or small, personal or professional. Goals infuse life with purpose and vitality. I'm going to go straight on to the wrap up here because I know I'm pushing for time here. So the wrap-up section, goals are not just destinations. They are transformative forces that sculpt our lives. They form the backbone of Sir John Whitmore's coaching model, underscoring their indispensable role in realizing human potential. By embracing goals, setting intentions, and following through with action, individuals unlock the doors to a more fulfilling and purpose-driven existence. So there's the review for that post. Again, I will uh, put a link to the post in the description below. And um, thank you for watching, if you have been watching. Much appreciated.